Hi, and welcome to the Great British Fin Friends August video. August started unsettled around much of the British Isles. In the second week, however, the weather improved in most regions, becoming warm and sunny until mid-month when it became more unsettled again. The weather was often wet and windy, particularly between the 19th and the 25th, with depressions heading in from the west, with only the last few days cooler and quieter. Despite the unsettled weather, but helped by the continuation of our National Whale and Dolphin Watch event, during the first two days of August, we had at least 1,110 sightings of 13 species reported to us. Harbour porpoise, as always, was the commonest and most widely distributed species in coastal waters, with greatest numbers in the Hebrides and west of Scotland, where aggregations of up to 15 animals were counted. But the species was recorded throughout the British Isles. Bottlenose dolphins were also seen in many parts of Britain, particularly in eastern Britain, where it was seen frequently from the Moray Firth, south as far as Yorkshire with an outlying sighting off the Norfolk coast. The species occurred elsewhere in its regular haunts of Cardigan Bay and the Channel Isles, but interestingly also at many sites in the Hebrides, from the Isle of Lewis south to the Mull of Kintyre, and in the Northern Irish Sea, including the Isle of Man and the County Londonderry coast. Large schools of common dolphins were continued to be seen along the coasts of South Devon and Cornwall, as well as in South Wales around the Gower Peninsula. Further north, there were sightings late on in the month in North Wales and the Isle of Man, possibly linked to the large numbers of mackerel being reported in those areas. The other major hotspot for common dolphins was all along the west coast of Scotland and throughout the Hebrides. Although most groups' numbers, 20 or less, schools of up to 300 animals were seen around Col and the Isle of Mull. Common dolphins also entered the North Sea with sightings in Orkney, east of the Farns, and even in the Wash and the Thames Estuary. There were rather few reports of white-beaked dolphins, mainly in the central North Sea off the coast of Northumberland and Tynan Weir, but also off Hander Island in the northwest of Scotland. There was continued activity of Atlantic white-sided dolphins with a pod of 40 off Sumbra Head, South Shetland, as well as a sighting of 25 off Timpuan Head in the Isle of Lewis, Outer Hebrides. Risso's dolphins were reported mainly in northern Britain, around Shetland, Orkney and off the coast of Caithness, as well as in the Outer Hebrides. Otherwise, they were seen regularly off Anglesey and in the Isle of Man, and further south off Jersey. Small pods of killer whales were seen in Orkney and Shetland, in the North Minch and off the Isle of Mull. A pod of 20 longfin pilot whales were spotted northeast of Sumbra Head, South Shetland. Unusually, northern bottlenose whales, typically a deep water species, were reported at three widely separated localities off the North Grampian coast at Gardenstown, in the Upper Firth of Clyde, and off the Norfolk coast. Sadly, these were followed by at least two of these stranding. Another related deep water species, the Sowerby's beaked whale, was sighted off the North Norfolk coast close to the northern bottlenose whale, and presumably the same animal stranded a little further south. Minke whales were commonly reported in small numbers in northern Britain in the Hebrides, Orkney and Shetland, and off the Caithness coast. In the North Sea, the species was recorded at several localities from the Firth of Forth south to the Yorkshire coast. In southern Britain, there were reports of minkies from southeast Cornwall off Lundy Island and southern Cardigan Bay. The waters around the Eye Peninsula in the Outer Hebrides continued to attract the rarer whale species, with both fin whale and humpback whale reported, whilst two humpbacks were also seen off the coast of Col early on in August, wrapping up another brilliant month. Thanks for watching. Do please share these sightings reports with people who you think will be interested and help protect the cetaceans around the British Isles. For more information about Sea-Watch Foundation, please go to our website www.seawatchfoundation.org.uk If you would like to support our work, why not adopt a dolphin? 
www.dopterdolphin.org.uk, just £3.50 a month.